Hey everybody. Just going to do a quick video here for uh <clears throat> It's kind of funny. I was watching uh Giuliano Tuliano from Brazil. He's a bushcraft expert in uh Brazil, one of my subscribers. Well, we've been corresponding for a while. And I saw him him and his buddy camping. Must have been rainy. It's all foggy, nasty. And uh he used his machete to dig a moat around their camping spot so their tents wouldn't get wet. Um, I'm here to tell them, Giuliano, you need one of these. Every woodsman needs this. As you can see, it can be mounted to any web belt, backpack, anything. This was mine from In the Guard. Of course, I tiger striped my cover so it wasn't all green. And this is what she is. You can use it like a pick, like this. And don't buy a junky one from some little sporting goods store. Get a good one. Then you can get entrenched pretty good with this. And, uh, wait a minute. Come here. Also is like a full size shovel. <clears throat> now, there you go. Compact, lightweight, great. This one's made by the Ames Company. It was manufactured in 1982. I got it in uh, 84. As you can see, it's still like brand new. A little rusty on the edge. Also makes a hell of a weapon. Because <clears throat> the serrated edges here are quite brutal. But this is what you're supposed to use to make your trench, Giuliano. Not your poor machete. Okay? Entrenching tool, machete. Entrenching tool, machete. So, I'm just poking fun, my friend. You know I love you. So, you gotta get you one of these, man. If you can't get it down in Brazil, I'll send you one. Because, uh,. And whether people know it or not, AIM, the Ames manufacturer has been making shovels for our military since World War One, And they are top-notch. Even in World War II, they made them. But, of course, everybody made them in World War II. But, uh, this is made out of real strong aircraft aluminum. Of course, it has a steel blade. But all this is all aircraft aluminum. And, as you know, it is called a tri-fold because... Uh, one... Two, three, well, one, two, three, yeah. And then it fits in here. Now, I also have a rubberized cover that goes over it as well. <clears throat> and uh, nice and compact, lightweight. I usually have this on the back of my Alice pack if I go out in the woods. But uh, remember, do not use your machete as an entrenching tool unless in absolute emergency. So... God bless and see you on the flip side. <laughs>